Holy crap, this thing looks freaking awesome. You guys can see it does fit pretty nice. I want to say that's perfect right there. I'm liking that way that looks. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Eric and in today's video I'm going to go ahead and do something pretty crazy. I um, I picked up these wheels about a month ago and I didn't tell you guys because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them but I think I might. So yeah, I picked up a full set of GTR wheels um, and the crazy thing guys is that I got the full set for $400. I was blown away with <laughs> the price i i kind of drove a little bit to pick these up but they are in really good shape the front tires are, are pretty good still the rears are pretty bad so that's why i don't have them and um the reason why the, i only have the two fronts here the reason i only have the two fronts is because i'm meeting up with a, a guy right now and we're gonna swap fronts he's gonna give me his rears and i'm gonna give him my fronts if that makes sense so i'm gonna have a full set of rears in the exact same color so i'm super excited about that so right now we're going to drive these out there and i'm going to pay for the mounting and i'm giving him 200 dollars on my end um so that he can make the trade so i'm just getting uh, the wheel swapped over right now So right behind me, I have the two uh, rear GTR wheels. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take them out in a bit. But first, I'm going to have some breakfast with my wife. And then uh, I don't know if I'm going to install them on any car right now just because all my cars are kind of broken right now. So what's the point? But I would like to kind of show you guys uh, the full set. So stay tuned for that. So I have the wheels outside of the house right now. I'm only going to put two on my G35 just to see how the fitment looks. Um, and then I am gonna need to get new tires for the rears, which technically they're all rears, but <laughs> the ones that are gonna be in the back need new tires. So this is the pair that I uh, traded. Um, I ended up putting the tires that I had from the fronts to the rears. So these are the 255, 45, 20, um, and they do fit on the on the wheel right here. This is a 10.5 inch wheel. Um, it is pretty stretched out and um, I like the way it looks, but I think if I'm going to put them on my G35, I'm going to need a a smaller profile. Um, so I think I'm going to need a 35. Uh, but for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate these. Well, I'm going to put these on on the car to see how they look. Um, so yeah, these are the, the pair that I just picked up. And then I have the other two over here. So these guys are also in great shape. So I'm pretty excited about this. So we'll go ahead and get this done. So do you guys remember this car? Well, yeah, I still have it. <laughs> I just haven't done much work to it. Now, if you guys uh, have been keeping up with the channel, you guys know that I have these uh, 370Z rays that are powder coated, like in a bronze, um, golded, gold, goldish metallic color, which look pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not getting rid of those. I am gonna keep them still, but I'm just curious to see how these GTR wheels are gonna look on this car. Um, so the car right now is, I think, almost at ride height. I have a 25 millimeter spacer up in the front uh, with these uh, G37 wheels. I'm gonna take off the spacer and then uh, install the the GTR wheel and see how it looks. And I know some of you guys are probably like wondering why I'm gonna be putting 20s on a G35, and uh, the answer to that is because I'm just curious. I want to see how they look. So the wheels do fit, however, they do look kind of huge in this wheel well. Um, there is a barely any contact in the back so it's very very small if I put a five millimeter spacer I think it'll be perfect it doesn't make contact but like I said it's very close and you guys can see that right there um, so 
if I were to run these wheels, I think I would have to go with like a 245, 35 to be on the safe side, or at least a, yeah, it's gonna have to be at least 245 because it's already pretty stretched. So we'll put on the rear one and see how it looks. Holy crap, this thing looks freaking awesome. <laughs> you guys can see it does fit pretty nice in the front. It does poke out a little bit more than the rear. Nothing that a 10 or 15 millimeter spacer can't fix. I want to say that's perfect right there. I'm liking that way that looks. Uh, important thing about these wheels is they use, they don't use this type of lug nut, which is what's commonly found on the 370Z wheels. They actually use the original style lug nut. So make sure you guys use the correct uh, type. The G35 is currently not drivable, but this is how the wheels look. Uh, with it just kind of sitting there. Um, I have um, different springs on here so it's not lowered at all. So you guys can imagine if I lower it, it'll, it probably would look a lot nicer. I, um, I do have some coilovers that I could put on this car uh, to lower it a bit. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if the 20s are too big for this car or what your overall thoughts are. Personally, I think the wheels look awesome. Um, but I know that they do kind of make contact here in the front. So I'm only going to know it when I drive it. So I'll probably make an update video. And I'm probably going to take these off because I don't want to leave them on when the car is just parked. Uh, these are pretty expensive wheels. So I don't want anybody to like try to steal them or something like that. So. That's the poke right there in the front. And then in the back. I would say it's very close to being flush. 10 millimeter spacer will make it flush, I think. So this is going to wrap up the end of the video. Um, I kind of just wanted to show you guys the wheels that I purchased. Um, I still don't know if I'll keep them, but um, just because they're kind of big. So I don't know if I will keep them, but if I do keep them, they'll probably go on the G35 eventually. If you guys uh, did like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your thoughts are as far as the wheels on this vehicle. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.